Why do nails keep cracking? How to fix it? Hi, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. Today I will show you how to fix nails with gel to avoid cracks even on curved nails. Let's get into it. Here are today's nails. Have you noticed that index and middle nails are the ones that grow downward as a rule? I'm going to lift them to fix that. We can use either paper forms or dual ones to extend them, using gel or polygel. Today, I'm going to use one gel to complete this entire manicure. To start off, I remove the coating leaving a thin layer. We can keep most of it on the free edge, since it will help to lift the curved tips. Just make sure to remove all the color, leaving some base coat. Now we need to prep the nails for sculpting. For this, we need to do a clean manicure, polish the nails and apply adhesive products. Always use a primer for better bonding. Now let's discuss this trend towards gel nail strengthening. Back when I started out 13 years ago, our options were limited to gel and acrylics. But many nail technicians did not like the acrylic system due to its strong chemical smell. Besides, it was tricky to get used to. One needs to dip the brush into liquid, then grab some acrylic powder, forming a perfect texture until it dries in the air. Well, it's super inconvenient. So many nail technicians preferred using gel, before gel polishes appeared. And you know what? Back when we were working with gels, we did not have such problems as onycholysis or other nail plate issues. So, base coats changed everything. We started doing nail alignment with perfect highlights, making sure it was thick enough to last. And you know the rest. When nail technicians realized the damage, they gradually started to switch to gels. And the main perk of using gel is that it forms a thin layer which is also hard enough, unlike a base coat. Base coats are more rubbery and flexible, so they get easily deformed. Gels are harder. They are similar to glass or hard plastic. They don't bend, but they can adjust to the nail shape. So there is a lower risk of an allergic reaction for both clients and nail technicians. Unlike base coats, gels don't contain aggressive acids. So these were the main reasons why so many nail technicians decided to switch from base coats to gels or polygels. Though polygel is significantly less popular than gel. It is mostly used for sculpting, encapsulated French nail art or building up missing nail parts. But we can also do it all using one jar of a builder gel. There is no need to use polygel to extend the free edge. We don't need a brush or polygel liquid. So we can lift curved tips, strengthen the nails and even sculpt them properly using the same gel. Besides, we can apply our nail alignment skills working with gel. They will be of great help. As a rule, gels are rather thick. So nail technicians end up using lots of gel to align the nail plate which is rather tricky. So the nails get too thick, thicker than gel polish ones. That's why many refuse to use gels. When in fact, we can always file it to create the shape we need. It's not a crime, we can do that. That's exactly what I will be doing today. As for the technique, I will be sculpting the nails considering their side projection and not the highlights. In terms of the nail architecture, all the lines should be even. Do you like manicure and nail extensions? If you do, join my new online course on nail sculpting from zero to pro and get your certificate. The course is available worldwide. For more information, click the link in the description box below. At the very beginning, I promised to tell you why such cracks may appear. Here is a huge crack near the nail ingrowth point. And it was caused by the downward growth pattern. Here's why. 
there is more pressure on the free edge. Curved tips make the nails heavy and imbalanced, so they can't help but start to crack in the ingrowth points, the most fragile areas. Nail technicians make things worse by overfiling them, which inevitably results in cracking. So I'm using fiberglass to fix this nail ingrowth point. It's a non-woven material that helps to strengthen the damaged area to keep the crack from spreading further. It forms a thin layer that secures it. There are various fiberglass types, so use the one you like. Just know that using gel alone may not be enough to secure the crack. Moving on to sculpting. I start by laying out the gel on the free edge. Note that I form a rather thick layer to lift the tip. The thing is that many nail technicians keep it thin imitating a base coat technique, so the free edge gets thin and poorly strengthened, which again results in cracks in the ingrowth points. So feel free to put lots of gel on the free edge. Then I strengthen the cuticle zone. I'm particularly careful at this point, so as not to file this area and avoid lifting. And I don't turn the hand over to check the highlight. I just need to make sure that there is a smooth descent from the apex to the nail tip. Now the lower parallels. There is a straight line and a smooth lift. Do not make rapid diagonal moves with the file. And that's how we touch up the nail architecture. By placing the file under the nail, I have lifted the curved tip. As simple as that. I have managed to do it all with gel. Now just a quick touch up with the file. I always make sure to file all the excess gel out, as you know, since curved tips get thicker as we lift them. So we cannot skip this step. We decided to top it off with a pastel shade. If you are interested in this topic and want to learn more about working with pastel gel polishes, please give this video a big thumbs up. If this video gets 100 likes, I will film a detailed guide for you. I know that many nail technicians, especially beginners, hate working with naughty and streaky pastel shades. It seems next to impossible to get an even coating. When, in fact, one layer is enough if we cure it properly. So please help this video hit 100 likes subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to get notified about new videos. Now I proceed with the top coat. And here is a side view. The nail is not as curved as it used to be, and I'm sure there will be no cracks due to proper nail architecture even three weeks later. Now you know that we can avoid cracks by lifting curved nails and strengthening them. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and check out more videos on my channel. Success in your work. Bye-bye.